Okay guys, so this is the last part of this series on how to run a successful web design business. And today I'm going to show you how to white label your projects. And again, by doing so, it will add credibility to your business and your customers will tend to trust you even more. So there are three other videos before this one. If you haven't watched them, I'll leave those links in the description below. All right, so let's get started. Okay guys, so there are two ways to white label all the tools and all the features provided by WPMU Dev. So you can do this in your WordPress dashboard and you can do this in your hub. So basically everything that's in your hub here, all these uh, features and everything can be branded to your own company name, logo, colors and everything like this, you know. And the same here in the back end of your WordPress dashboard. Everywhere we have references coming from WPMU Dev. You can change this, rename that, and put your own branding and your own logo. So basically put it your own twist and your own spin to it, okay? So let's go back here and as you can see, let's start with the first option here. So how to white label the backend, uh, the WordPress dashboard. So let's click on this and open this in a new tab. And I'm gonna show you the content. So basically here you can replace uh, our heroes. It says here documentation and links with your own branding. So basically with this feature, you can white label WPMU Dev plugins. So all the plugins that are installed in your WordPress dashboard. So those, you can see here, all of them, you can tweak this around. So basically you can remove all the references to WPMU Dev. So everything that's logo, you can replace all the icons with your own, which is very, very handy indeed. You can even customize the names. As you can see, it says Defender Pro Security. So if someone wants to look that online, look it up online, they might want to subscribe to this uh, separately or something like this. Whereas here, if you replace the name and you call it whatever you want with your company name, you can still charge them a little uh, um, a fee every month and make some money as well, you know? And you can also change the logo so they won't even recognize them uh, physically, uh, visually, okay? So basically with that feature, you can become your own hero. So replace everything that's got to do with WPMU Dev and replace with your, your brand, basically. So why be your brand? So this is just an example here, but you can replace this with your own logo, your own imagery, okay? So if we scroll down a little bit, as you can see, this is what it will look like. So if you go and select SEO, as you can see, normally it would say Smart Crawl Pro SEO, and then you can very easily recognize this uh, image as well. And now you can replace this with YB, so your brand, whatever name you want, and SEO, or call it whatever it is, you know. So uh, you can do the same with performance. You can do the same with security, uh, video, image optimizer. So a lot of people would know this uh, imagery immediately, and when they see that, they know it's much pro, you know. So you can replace this maybe with a rabbit or whatever it is that you want. And this way, you can still charge a customer a small fee for providing uh, third-party services. So very, very, very convenient indeed. And now if we keep scrolling down the page, as you can see, you can customize almost everything, including the footer section. So as you can see, it would be branded, made with love by WPMU Dev. And you can replace it with your own brand name, company name, and everything, you know, so it will be seamless. They won't even know that it's another company running this behind. They'll think it's actually you. They will think this is your company. You came up with all this uh, interface and all these services. So this is going to add to your brand and it's going to add a trust uh, as well. Uh, people will trust you even more because they're going to think you're a big company then, you know. Okay, very good. Now, option number two, let's go back to uh, the hub here. So as you can see, we can white label our hub as well. So let me open this in a new window. So basically this is to customize your hub, to personalize it and brand it with your company colors and logo and name. Very good. So this is our hub here. So basically that's what it looks like. As you can see, we have WPM MuDev logo right here and all the different instances. So let's have a look here. And as you can see, you can have your, your brand again, your own logo, your name, etc., etc. But more than this, obviously, you know, so you can run a completely white label uh, hub. You can run entirely on your own site as well. Very important. And you can bail and manage your clients and control all user access levels. So you can assign different sets of uh, privileges and assign different levels uh, of control to your customers. So this is very important as well, you know, so this is very manageable and customizable and very easy to set up as I shall demonstrate. Okay, very good. And for this, we're gonna start from our WordPress dashboard. And as you can see here on the left-hand side, we have the WPMU Dev section here. And from there, we're gonna go into plugins. 
So as you can see here, these are all the plugins installed on our website. As you can see, these are installed and active. But if you scroll down the page, the one that you want to install now is the hub client. So take this one, click install. Very good. And now we need to activate it. So let's click activate. So that's it. All done already. And now that the hub client is installed and activated, as you can see on the left hand side, we have a new tab here, the hub client. Click on this one. OK, and all we have to do now is to click on get started. And here immediately we have a preview of what our menu bar looks like. So we don't have any logo at the moment. We don't have a site name. So we can change all this and customize this ourselves right now. So as you can see here right at the bottom, you have the name. So let's change this. OK, so let's click on this and let's call this Mr. Web Reviews. And then we save the changes. Very good. So this is our name. And now we can add and replace our logo. So there are two ways to do so. You can either click on this add link here or you can click on this icon here right there. So either way will work fine. So if you click on the plus sign, now you can upload your own logo. So ideally, because the preview will be in a rounded shape, it is ideal to select a square picture like either of those, you know, this would be absolutely fine. So let's say if I was to select this one, I click open, save changes. There you go, as you can see, the picture is displaying fine. It's fully centered. And the reason being again is because I selected a squared picture and this would fit in perfectly in a circle. And then you can select your color scheme as well. So we have the navigation background. So this is this purple color here. This is the background color in itself. We have the navigation text. As you can see, this word site is the same color as this one here. And then we have the navigation uh, text select and hover. So if you hover on top, as you can see, it will turn white, which is this color here. So these are the colors that you can customize. So let me change this uh, with you now. So let's say if we wanted to go for a reddish color, maybe. So let me scroll down a little bit. So we can select this by using this drag uh, feature. And then you can select the color that you want. So I'm going to go for a red uh, color like this. Let's click Save. And then the text color here, now it is purple. It doesn't, it's not really fitting. So I could select another color. So let's go maybe with a yellow, just like this. Very good. So let's click save. And then now if you hover on top, it can turn white, which is absolutely fine. So this is how easy you can actually change those colors. Okay, so next we have the navigation here, as you can see. So we can add a pre-made menu to appear after sites. So we have sites here but you can add different hyperlinks right after this uh, custom made menu. So how can we do this? So before we can select a menu, we actually have to create one. So for this, we're going to appearance, menus, and I'm gonna open this in a new tab for now, okay? So these are our menus. So we can create a new menu. So let's create this together. So let's say, uh, let's call this uh, header menu, okay? Let's click save. So we have created our menu now. Now we're going to add a few pages. OK, so I'm just going to select a few pages at random here. Add to menu. And there you go. Now, if we save this, so let's go back to our page. Now let's refresh. And now we can click on get started again. And as you can see, all our settings have been saved anyways, you know. So if you scroll down, now we have navigation. We can select our menu. And as you can see, the header menu is right here. So if you take this, click save changes. If you go back on top, as you can see, our links are right here. So we have contact projects services about, which is exactly those pages we added to our custom menu here. OK, so let's scroll down the page now. And as you can see, we have the client page and user and roles. So what are these two? So let's look after the client page first. So you can select different pages here. Uh, this is the destination page. So as you can see, this is going to bring us to the hub, our hub page but you can select other pages if you wanted to. But in our case, it's probably safer to keep hub. So the hub basically is the same as this one. So this is our hub, except that it will be rebranded now, okay? And this is a view page. So if I click on this, now it's gonna open this in a new tab. And as you can see, we have to log in first before we can access it because I'm logged out obviously at the moment. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my email address, hello at mrwebreviews.com. I'm going to paste the password and I'm going to click remember and then log in. And there you go. As you can see, this is our hub with our own branding. As you can see, our own logo, our red color here, uh, all the items here in the menu section are in yellow. And if you hover on top, they're going to turn white, just like we set it up. So this is how easy you can actually customize your own dashboard uh, to represent your own company and branding. 
Very good. So let's go back to our hub client now and let's look after the user and roles. So let me open this now. And as you can see, we don't have any team members, so we can add our very first one. So let's click on this. So the first thing we need to do is to put the email address. So I'm going to use a different email address than my uh, Mr. Web Reviews one. So this is the one from my company, everythingcustombuilt.com. Have a look if you want to. And then I'm going to put in my name here. And this is where you can select which sites you want to give access to. So as you can see, all websites, mrwebreviews.com, all the other ones. So let's just restrict that to just one site for now, okay? And then you can select what type of privileges you're going to give your user. So view and edit or view only. So let's just restrict this to view only, okay? Just to show you what it looks like. So let's click invite. Very good. So as you can see, the user has been invited successfully. Now I'm going to go and open my email and show you what it looks like. And as you can see at the moment, it's pending. Okay, so there it is, guys. This is the email I received. And as you can see, I need to confirm my invitation. So all I have to do is just click on this. I have to fill in my details now. So if you put my name and create a password as well, and I'll be able to create my account, okay? So let's do this. Okay, very good. And now I can create my account. And as you can see, just the way we set it up, I only have access to one website, which is mrwebreviews.com. And as we set it up as well, I can only access it. I can only view things. I cannot edit. As you can see here, I can see the, the results, the details, but can, I cannot click on it. I cannot edit any content. I cannot delete or make any changes or modifications. So this is how it can be done, guys. Okay, very, very easy again. Okay, so let's go back to the Hub Client now. And as you can see, we have a few more options and these are basically self-explanatory, you know, very easy to understand. This is just to link uh, your page to the terms and condition, privacy policy, your homepage, etc., etc. So again, as I said, these are pretty self-explanatory and very easy to understand. So we're not going to cover this in this tutorial. And now let me show you the second aspect of the white labeling feature. So do you remember at the beginning, we mentioned this one here, you can white label as well the back end of your WordPress dashboard. So let's take care of this. So if you click on this now, as you can see, you can remove everything that's related to WPMU Dev or the references. Okay. And for this, we need to add an additional plugin. So let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Very good. And then we're going to WPMU Dev and we're going to plugins. And this time we're going to enable another one, which is called Brenda Pro. So this is the one here that's related to white labeling. So all you have to do is just click on it and click install. Very good. And now we need to activate it. Excellent. And now that our plugin is installed and activated, you'll find it here on the left hand side in our menu section. So we can click on this now. And from here, you will find everything you need to customize all the different parts of your WordPress dashboard and even more. As you can see here, you can tweak everything related to the admin area. So admin bar, the footer section, the menu section, messages, even color scheme and custom CSS if you want to. So if we keep scrolling down, as you can see, we have the widget section, we have the emails and also front end and utilities. So it's a very, very powerful white labeling tool, this, you know. So you can use this to customize it to the max and literally have your a WordPress dashboard and everything related to it, customized to your own branding and personalize it the way you want it. So we're not going to go through all the options here. I'm just going to show you one uh, very quickly just to show you how it works. So let's say the admin footer. So if I scroll down the page at the moment, you can see all we have is this and there is no additional information, but you can add something if you wanted to. So it's very easily done. All you have to do is just click on this pencil here and you can activate this feature. So let's activate it. And now you can add whatever you want here in the photo section. So this one comes by default. Thank you for creating with WordPress. Now, if we scroll down the page, as you can see, we have our additional footer here. Now you can add this with your company name, you may have some details or maybe a link to your help desk or something like this, you know. So feel free to add here whatever it is that you need, obviously, you know. And once you finish, don't forget to click save. And that's it. Done already. So if you go back to the dashboard now, Brenda Pro, you can see this one is turned uh, blue. So you can see that this one is active at the moment. And you can do the same with all the different items right here. Okay, and then I kept the best for last. Do you remember this at the very beginning? I showed you this feature here that you can rename all your different plugins and change the hero image and everything. Now let me show you how to do this. So when we go back to our WordPress dashboard, 
And right here in the WPMU Dev section, we go into white label. And from here, you scroll down the page. And as you can see, we have this one that says WPMU Dev plugin labels. So if you click on custom, now you can rename them all together. So as you can see at the moment, we have uh, the Hub Client, Smush Pro, etc., etc., And the latest one we just installed, which is Brenda Pro. So if you wanted to rename this very easily, all you have to do. So let's go with, for instance, Brenda Pro, which is the latest we installed. And then you can put your own name, whatever it is that you want. OK, and then scroll down the page. And if you save this, as you can see immediately here by the side, now we have Mr. Web Reviews. Now you can change the icon attached to it as well. So if you scroll down again, you can see we have a dash icon, upload icon, link icon or none all together. So if you go into dash icon, you can select among a few different options here. So let's say, for instance, because Brenda Pro is about a customization, so maybe you could have a small paintbrush. Why not? OK, so we select this now and then we click save. And now if we scroll down by the side, as you can see now, we have Mr. Web Reviews and our small paintbrush. So this is how easy you can customize your own parcel apps and uh, plugins that are installed on your WordPress dashboard. So there you go, guys. This is a quick overview of the main features that will allow you to white label your websites and your hub. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of this solution. I think it's great, but what do you think? All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.